Hey guys, um, I'm just doing a um, in a YouTube live session. Um, I've never done this before, so um, there's nobody watching right now, but that's okay, because um, I just started YouTube, and so I just wanted to see how this feature worked. And so, in the meantime, I'm going to talk about um, going from an associate's degree in computer science to a master's degree. In computer science um, um, so this is for people who are sort of in the untraditional um, route um, I fall into that category because my undergrad degree is in English um, with the concentration in writing and so I already have a bachelor's degree but my bachelor's degree is not related to computer science and so I am currently, um, sorry, let me start. I am currently working towards a computer science, an associate's computer science degree at a community college right now, and I'm hoping to transfer to a master's degree. Now, many of you are probably thinking, like, what is she crazy? Like, that's not how it works. You have to go from an associate's to a bachelor's to a master's. But that's not really like set in stone. I mean, unless you are, you've never had a bachelor's degree before, that's your pathway. You go from associates, bachelor's, master's, or you do like a joint bachelor's, master's, but that's not what we're talking about. So there, it is possible to go from an associates to a master's, but you do have to have a, a bachelor's degree in something else. So like you just need a bachelor's degree. That's the only only requirement you need to be able to go to a master's. But the thing is that you have to um, do all of the prereqs. You know, there's a the breadth requirement. And so my plan is that, so I'll be finishing up all of my computer science uh, requirements at, at community college. So those are the lower lower um, division credits for computer science. So I'll be finishing that this summer, but it'll take me probably another two semesters to finish all my math lower division requirements. And after that, I can start applying to master's programs. Now, they won't straight up accept me to a master's because of course I have not done any of my upper level undergrad credits in computer science and so what they can do and they've done this before is that they'll accept you on a conditional basis that if you accept their offer you'll have to do your upper level undergrad credits at their school before starting your grad um, graduate credits and sometimes they do let you take those concurrently like you can do your upper level um uh, requirements while you're taking your graduate classes. Like, I know some schools allow that. I'm not sure, like, not all of them do, though, because I've only looked at um, the California State University campuses. So there's 23 um, schools in the California State University system. And so I'm planning on staying in-state. So um, that's the only schools that I really looked at. And I kind of want to go... Uh, to um, to a school in Southern California, but honestly, I'll go <laughs> anywhere that accept me. So, but there, the okay. So the that's not the only option. The other option is that yeah, you can go and transfer to a four year university and get a bachelor's. But the thing with getting a second bachelor's degree is that there's not much funding for that. It's because you're. When you're going for your second bachelor's, they consider you as a grad student, but you'll be taking undergrad. So I don't know the reason behind this or anything. I just know that if you're going for your second bachelor's degree, you're not going to get any financial aid. That's just that's just the reality. I don't know the reasoning, but I've spoken to my advisor and um, my um, computer science professor, and both of them have told me the same thing. So that's one thing to keep in mind is that it's going to be a lot more expensive to fund your education. So 
Yeah. Um, so this was kind of like an impromptu video. Uh, but bottom line, you have two options going from an associate's to a master's. Um, you know, it would be easier if your undergrad was sort of related to computer science, but not completely. Like I know if you're an electrical or a computer engineering major, you can seamlessly pretty much go into a master's in computer science. But my undergrad was in English, so that's, you know, quite different. And I've had to do a lot of catch up um, in terms of like my math classes. So it's not just the computer science classes I had to do. I also had to do a lot of math. So anyway, I think that's all I wanted to talk about. Um, I just wanted to see what this live studio thing was about. And, you know, it's, it's kind of nice because there's no like editing to do. So it's just you do this and then kind of just send it out there, you know, which is nice. So anyways, um, I hope whoever's watching this found that useful and I will maybe you'll watch some of my other videos. I don't know. <laughs> All right. So I'll see you later. Bye. Thank you. And hope you have a good night.